What's up guys? Welcome back to the Eli Ascendance YouTube channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit unique, but I'm really excited for it. If you follow me on any of my socials, you most likely know that I love fashion and I especially love sneakers. I was trying to think, how could I integrate my love for fashion and sneakers into a video that has to do with calisthenics? Kind of tough, but I came up with a terrible idea. For every pair of sneakers I have, I'm going to do 20 push-ups. On the real, I actually don't know how many I have. I hope that I'm not too shocked. It's not, it's not like in the hundreds, like I'm not gonna be do, doing 2,000 push-ups or anything crazy, but I'm expecting it to be a few hundred push-ups. Um, and I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway at the end of the video once I go through my 15 nicest pair of sneakers. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But for now, we're gonna start with my beater kicks. You know, those sneakers that your grandma got you and you didn't want, but you couldn't return because you didn't have the receipt. Um, no, I actually do love some of these shoes. I actually wear them quite a bit, but they aren't my most expensive sneakers, so I just don't display them. Let's see how many we got. I actually wear these all the time now that it's winter. Uggs, one. And actually a lot of these boxes have sneakers in them, unfortunately. Um, some of them don't, but I'm hoping that a lot more of them don't. All right, so we got three, six, no. Oh, yeah, these definitely both have shoes in them. Some KDs. Uh, let's see what we got here. I don't even know what those are. We're just gonna count that as one pair of sneakers. These should be the last two. I, all those are my boxes for my nice sneakers that I just put up there. It's kind of a little bit more than I thought, you know? It is what it is. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I failed calculus senior year. 12 times 20, what do we got? 240, that's a lot of push-ups. You know what? No excuses, all right? Let's just get right into it. Let's crank them out. I'm probably gonna try and go by 20, 20s and 30s reps. One thing that you have to know is that my shoe game has not always been on point. At one point in my life, I was rocking Skechers, Old Navy sandals, Tony Hawk skater shoes. Like, my shoe game was hurt. But I was involved in the, in the basketball community, and a lot of those guys are sneakerheads. They love their kicks. And so that's kind of what began to draw me into the sneaker world and really began to develop my love for sneakers because it was who I was around, you know, they loved it. And so I was like, man, I actually love this stuff too. And so one of the very first pairs of shoes that I got with my own money that I thought were like the stuff were these Kobe 11s. Um, I think they're the EXT edition. Um, so they're all leather. First of all, rest in peace, Kobe. Um, one of my uh, role models in regards to just like life and, and just how he pushed himself to be a better person always. Um, but I, I bought these shoes for like $150. The retail was $225 and I thought I was getting a steal. Um, and one of my friends like later came and told me that he found them at a Nike outlet for like 50 bucks like a month later. Um, so that made me upset. But yeah, these were like, these were crucial um, in, my, in my sneaker journey because I spent my own money on them. I was like, man, these are mine. Like, it really began to develop my love even more for, for the sneaker game. What are we at? I think that's 100. It's gotta be. Goodness gracious. We are almost halfway there. Only 120 more. I gravitate towards more unique shoes because I don't love having the basic thing that everybody has. Um, so like I have a pair of Air Forces. I've had two pairs and they've both been custom just because everyone has Air Forces, right? Like I don't want the same pair of shoe. So I remember I got these Air Max 90s um, and I thought they were unique. I was like, man, I've never seen anyone have these shoes. And so I got them. Um, <clears throat> these are actually my running shoes. These are an unreleased pair of Asics. They're a sample. So like you could have never bought these at the store. Um, makes them unique. I got these uh, Five Lab 3s, um, these Jordans. Uh, they actually reflect in light. It's actually super dope if you take a picture with flash. 
So a lot of my shoes that I buy are a lot more unique and it began this journey of me collecting and getting more sneakers, getting more expensive sneakers, finding what I loved. Um, and once I got into college and I had quite a bit of my own money, I decided that I wanted to get a little bit more serious with sneakers. And so what I did is I started reselling them. I went on eBay and I bought like literally $2,000 worth of sneakers. And over one month, I resold all of them and I made a grand, a grand profit, not like in total, like a thousand dollars profit. And I literally was like, just absolutely enthralled with the idea of like collecting sneakers, reselling them for more money. That really jump started me having my more expensive sneakers, um, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. Uh, but that's a little bit about my journey and how I fell in love with sneakers, why I have so many sneakers. Um, really, it's like art to me, you know? Finding shoes or, or shirts or hats that accent a certain color um, or things that, um, you know, just blend and flow really well. I, I like getting creative with it. I like being different. Um, and it's, it's like an art. And so I've, I fell in love with the art of fashion and um, being a sneakerhead. And I think I'll probably be a sneakerhead till the day I die. So catch me rocking Jordans while I'm 70. I think I have 20 left. Yeah, 20 left. There it is. First round of shoes. I never thought that there would be a reason for me to hate myself having so many shoes, but here it is. All right, now that we've repped out the 240 push-ups for that set of shoes, we are going to move on to what you've all been waiting for. The main attraction, my 15 nicest pair of sneakers, as well as the giveaway that I'm going to be doing. Now, how this giveaway is going to work. We are going to show you some clips slowly going down each row, showing you each shoe. I'm not gonna give you the names of all the shoes because that'd be way too easy. But <clears throat> if you are able to guess the value of my entire shoe rack within $200, my shoe shelf, I should say, then you are going to win a $100 cash prize. So go ahead and try and figure out, put your, put your answer down in the comments below. I'm interested to see what you guys guess or what you guys come to. I did the research and I came up with the total. Make sure that you're doing it as if all the shoes were brand new. So if you were to purchase them brand new, how much would these 15 shoes cost? Okay, not in their current condition, but brand new. With that said, there is 15 here, three in every single row, one, two, three, four, five. You know what that means, math that I don't know how to do. So 15 times 20 is 300 push-ups. So that gives us a total of 540 push-ups today. Man, listen, y'all might as well follow along with this video because this is an entire workout and a half. 300 push-ups, I'm gonna waste no time and we're gonna go ahead and crank them out. Finally, I get to show you guys my 15 favorite pairs of shoes. And that's why these are all on this shelf, staged like I have them staged, um, because I love showing them off. I love how they look. I love everything about them. The way I usually choose which shoes I like, which shoes I buy, um, are oftentimes first, like what type of shoe do I like? What silhouette? I like a few different silhouettes, okay? Um, some of the silhouettes I love are Jordan 1s. So I actually have a pair of highs right here as well as a pair of lows. I think they're super iconic and legendary, but they're also super aesthetic. Another silhouette that I love, some people don't love it. My wife hates these, are Yeezys. I think they go crazy with some black ribbed jeans and an oversized hoodie. It's like as streetwear as it gets, in my opinion. I also do love the Air Force color or the Air Force silhouette, but like I said, it's such a common shoe that I can't just cop white Air Forces. So I have these, 
the off-white Air Force um, blacks. I love off-whites because of all the detail. I mean, you can look at them. They have text and lettering all within the shoe on the back, on the heel. They have, you know, in quotes, logo, air. So the, they got the Ziploc. A lot of things that make the shoe very unique and stand out. And then I have my wedding shoes that I wore, which have my wedding date on the back, 8 21, 21. Shout out to Cole Panky, uh, DK Custom Kicks, for getting these done for me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I love these because once again, they're unique and they're sentimental. They have value to me. I actually have another pair, a couple pair of shoes that are like that. These two down here, these don't run a high ticket. These aren't expensive, but this pair of shoes, I actually did a swap with my older brother who um, means a lot to me. I look up to him in life. Um, he's a great spiritual role model for me. Um, and we did a swap. So we bought both pairs and we traded shoes so that we have both colorways. And then we we uh, swapped the laces. So I think it's a pretty cool twist on the shoe. I feel like there's just a connection you have to shoes. Um, there can be a lot of sentimental value um, and there cannot be, right? Like I just got these pair of shoes. Really, they have no sentimental value to me, but I think they go crazy. They're super dope. Literally, I mean, here's a giveaway. These are like $128. The gold Nike, the kind of like old school Nike on the front as well as on the heel tab, as well as just like the different accents that it has. That's the name of the shoe. Um, just things that make a shoe unique is why I love it. And I probably will till the day I die, as I said earlier, I'll be 70 rocking Jordans. Um, that's just a little bit about my sneaker journey, why I love sneakers and how I get, this is a video basically of how I turned it into a calisthenics challenge. If you enjoyed this content, let me know in the comments down below. I know this is a little bit different because I'm talking about something I don't usually talk about, but it is something that I enjoy and that I love. So I want, I want y'all to know that about me. If you haven't seen my last video, I put a lot of time and effort into it. So make sure you go check that out. I'm gonna continue to put out great content for you guys. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. That way y'all don't miss any of my video drops. I love y'all, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.